Hi everybody, welcome back. Today I'm doing a look for you using the awesome Fashionista brand eyeshadows. These are only available in Europe, so I apologize to my US subscribers, but um, I wanted to do another high street tutorial and I wanted to use these eyeshadows. These are Fashionista brand. They remind me of Stila um, eyeshadows. The packaging is amazing. They have the little holes in the back. You can push them through so you can change them out. Um, I think this is an awesome eyeshadow. Um, I think it's right up there with high-end brands. Um, that's what I think personally. But I really wanted to do a tutorial using this brand. Now, the today's tutorial is a mix of high street and high-end cosmetics because, like I said before, I don't have high street everything that I need. I just kind of did a mix and match of high end and low end. So if you guys are interested in seeing today's look using the awesome Fashionista brand, keep watching, it's coming right up. I am going to use some of my Red Lumiere Aqua and I know that you can get this in Europe so I have decided to use this. I need something a little bit heavier than just my BB cream so that's why I decided to use this. My other foundations that I have, I don't think you can get in the UK. So that's why I decided to use this. I'm just going to put this on with my fingers. For those of you that are wondering, I have already filled in my eyebrows. I was trying something different. And I kind of liked how they turned out, so I decided to just leave them. <clears throat> I just made them appear a little bit more thinned out than they really are. You guys like my little mohawk? I woke up this morning and it was just kind of like that, so I decided to leave it. I actually coaxed it a little by combing it in. I don't know. When your hair is this short, it just kind of does whatever it wants. It's kind of hard to give it direction. It just does whatever. Okay, for my primer on my eyelids, <clears throat> I'm going to use a uh, soft ochre paint pot. And this is what it looks like. And this is a very good color for my skin tone. I'm very yellow. And this is a yellow based uh, paint pot. These are actually eyeshadows, but uh, a lot of people use them as primers or bases for their makeup. That's what I like to do. Bases for their eyeshadow, I should say. Okay, so I'm gonna paint pot is on. I like this one. It really um, <clears throat> does a very good job of getting rid of discoloration on my lid. So I am going to use my Fashionista palette that Gemma was so kind to send me. You open it up, it reminds me of a MAC palette, but this is much bigger. It has a huge mirror. These are the colors that I have. This one here is called Nude Glimmer. This one is Earth Star. This one is Foxy. And this one down here is called Brunette Bombshell. I really, really like these colors. They're great colors. Now, I do get quite a bit of <clears throat> fall down with these, so I'm going to wait to apply my uh, concealer until after. So we're going to start with this color here, this lighter shade, and this one is called Nude Glimmer, and I'm just going to use that on this flat eyeshadow brush. And I can't remember where she bought these from. I think it may have been um, Boots, but I'm not 100% sure, so if maybe someone could correct me, let me know. I picked these out on one of the websites, but now I can't remember which one. But these colors remind me of Stila. So if you um, if you can't buy Stila, 
or let's say it's out of your price range, definitely look into the Fashionista brand if you live in Europe. The colors are very nice. The next shade that we're going to use is this one here. It is called Earth Star. It's a very pretty kind of, I don't know how you would describe it, bronzy brown, maybe. Light, light on the bronze. <clears throat> but I'm just going to take that and just push that in right over the center. And I'm just taking that up to the crease and kind of bringing it out. Next color we're using is this one here. It's called Brunette Bombshell. And it's really dark, but it looks like it might have some kind of like mauve undertones to it. Today I'm not doing anything really like over dramatic or over the top with my eyes, so just going to keep this mainly on the lid. I'm not going to bring it out much or do any kind of like V. Today's look is just going to be really simple. So what I'm going to do is just push this color onto the lid and then kind of push it over towards the inner corner and just slightly through the crease I'm pushing it. Now the one thing about these colors, there is quite a bit of fall down. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. I would suggest pressing it in and then blending it. I am going to use my Sonia Kashuk large crease brush and what I'm going to do is just lightly start blending over. What I'm doing now is just darkening this outer corner up just a little bit more, not too much. And for that, I'm using this Sonia Kashuk brush. I'm not sure what this is, but I think it's a small eyeshadow brush. I really, really, really like this. I'm going to go back and get at least two more. Um, this is the perfect brush for my for my eyelids because, like I've said before, my eyes are small. I don't have the biggest eyes in the world. I make them look large, but they really aren't. And this brush just works out perfect for me. For those of you that are looking for an eyeshadow brush that's a little bit smaller or narrower, definitely look into this brush here from Sonia Kashuk. This was a whopping $5.99 or $4.99, I think. It was not very expensive at all. And I really like how this look is coming together. It's very pretty. When I first got this palette, I used it so much and it occurred to me the other day that I never used it in a tutorial. So I figured why not. And for those, just taking a little bit more of Nude Glimmer and running that along this area here. And then I'm going to take that second color that we used, this one, Earth Star, on that same brush. And I'm going to run that kind of along the center here. And then going into the dark color, which is <clears throat> brunette, Blom brunette bombshell. I apologize if I, if my throat is annoying you guys. It's actually really annoying me. I keep feeling like I've got something stuck in my throat, so that I'm constantly trying to clear it out. So I apologize. I know that can be annoying. I didn't want to use too many. Um, expensive brands but I'm gonna go into my Blanc type and I know that you can get Mac in Europe I'm not using my wet n wild because you, you can't I don't I'm pretty sure that you can't get wet n wild in Europe okay so this is my new uh, eyeliner from Paula Dorf <clears throat> it is called Enhancer Baby Eyes, and it's just like a nude pencil, like Max Chromographic Pencil, like any other nude pencil that you find. And I'm going to put this along my lash line. Lashes. What I did not just now is use some Giorgio Armani uh, corrector. 
I'm pretty sure you can get this in Europe as well. You know, I know they sell Pixie. I think they sell Pixie in Europe, don't they? If you live in... Doesn't it look like the camera is moving? I'm not even touching my my desk. Um, I know that they sell... I think they sell Pixie in Europe. Somebody let me know. Um, if you can get Pixie, you know, like at a counter somewhere in Europe. I'm not sure. We get it here at Target going to use my Real Techniques brush here. You know the Collection 2000 concealer really is one of the best concealers. If I had to get rid of all my concealers and I was only allowed to keep let's say three, I would keep my Vera Wang, my American Beauty, and the Collection 2000. This is really like a very good quality concealer. It's it's very similar to the Vera Wang, believe it or not. It doesn't leave like the little dry looking marks on my skin. It blends in nicely. It soaks in nicely. It's a very good concealer. And for my cheeks, I'm going to use a little bit of this sleek blush or blusher in rose gold. And this is it's very pretty. I'm sure that you have all seen this a million times. I like it a lot, but it's very pigmented, so you have to be careful when you use it. And I'm just going to use a fluffy brush. I have no idea the brand of this brush. I got it at Big Lots last year. This is what came off on the brush. All I did was touch the product. That's how much came off. That's a lot. So I'm going to just kind of push that into the back of my hand because I don't want to end up looking like a clown. And what I'm going to do is just put this on the back of my cheek. Okay, so the blush is on. And then for my bronzer, I'm going to use my Bourjois bronzer. But I've had so much on my mind. I wasn't going to do a tutorial today because I got, I had my bone marrow biopsy yesterday, which really hurt. The last one that I had, the guy did such an amazing job, and it didn't hurt me at all. And this time, I ended up with someone else, and I don't know if she was in a hurry or what, but it definitely took a lot. It didn't take as long as last time. She she really did hurt me. I hope I don't ever have to have another bone marrow biopsy for as long as I live. Okay, I'm going to use this Estee Lauder powder, and I apologize, it's the only, like, loose translucent powder that I have. I used to have a bourgeois blot powder, but it broke, so I had to throw it out. Uh, I didn't have much of it left anyway, so I have to use this Estee Lauder one. I know that you can get Estee Lauder in Europe, so that's why I'm using this. And the powder that I used was this one here from Estee Lauder. I'm going to use a little bit of my number or 17 lip liner. Uh, this is called Buff, and it's a nude. And then I'm going to fill in a little bit with this also. I'm going to use this Barium lip gloss in number 10. For some reason, Barium feels the need not to name their products. Here's another, another little trick that you can do to kind of set the eyeliner on your waterline. If you're going to use a flesh tone color, what you can do is take a flesh tone eyeshadow. So the closest that I have is Brulee from MAC, this color here. So what I'm going to do is take this little pencil or this little brush, I'm going to use this again, take a little bit of the Brulee eyeshadow and just gently press it onto my waterline to kind of set the pencil. That will kind of give a little bit of a seal to it and it'll last a little bit longer on your water. Alright guys, so we are finished with today's look. Again, I think these Fashionista eyeshadows are amazing. 
I think they're great quality, especially for the price. You can't go wrong for the price of these. Now, again, if you have always wanted to swap, but you're too afraid, maybe this will push you just a little bit more into asking someone to swap because you can only get these in Europe. My friend Gemma sent these to me. She lives in the UK. So if you're really wanting to try some awesome eyeshadows, here's a little bit of a push. I think the Fashionista line is really nice. <clears throat> I would love to be able to try more of the colors. They remind me of Stila. Here is a Stila pan. I have the old ones. But they are very similar, as you can tell. Uh, the Stila is 2.6 grams. The Fashionista is 2.5. These palettes are amazing because the back here, you can push it through. I'll show you guys. And this is actually how you buy it. It comes just like that. And then you can get the palette separate, and then you just push it in like so, and voila. So I, I really think that these are very, very much worth looking into. As soon as I can start swapping again, I'm going to ask for more of those with whoever I swap with next, because I really, really like those, the brand, and how the shadows blend. I think it's great. Um, but I think that's it for now. Oh, look at here. Ah, it's gone. My line is gone. I had it taken out yesterday. I'm so happy about it. And <clears throat> So anyway, I'm going to go so I can get to editing. But thank you guys so much for watching, and take care. I will see you very soon. Bye.